Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, we are going to be covering a topic that perhaps puzzles some beginners or newbies in this game. And that is the subject on attire, golf uh, dress code. So if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for you to be informed more. So aside from getting the right equipment in this game, uh, one needs to have the proper attire or golf dress code. The most recognizable of which is the golf shoes which has the spike underneath to avoid uh, one from getting slip off uh, the greens or the grass uh, in the golf course. So for today's topic, we're going to be covering the reasons for this dress code, the evolution of which, and perhaps uh, look into the future how this trend will continue moving forward, okay? So for those of you that are not aware, uh, golf is now part of the Olympic sport that was instated in 2016. But before that, as early as 1900 and 1904, according to Wikipedia, golf has already been featured in uh, the Olympic Games, but only in 2016 where the committee decided to make it as a, an Olympic sport and therefore as a sport you need to have some dress code in order to compete in the game. But before that, according to uh, historical evidences, uh, since golf is a recreational uh, activity by royalty in the earliest times, you can see here 14th, 15th, 18th century golf. Um, these are in fact used to be played outdoors obviously and as a result you need to have some level of protection against the weather. Keeping in mind that the origin country somewhere in either Scotland or Ireland or um, that part of the globe where the weather could be really brutal and hence you can see the players rolling up their socks to cover their pants in order for the tweeds not to stick to those pants when they go back to their uh, own homes or country club. However, as time goes by, we don't see those trend or dress code attire anymore except during special events like what you've seen uh, us group in our earlier uh, tournaments so here we can still see players in the 1920s uh, rolling up their socks all the way to at least below the knee and not only that they're wearing thick uh, jackets or thick um, coats even because of the uh, outdoor elements that they're facing during the, their games but uh, obviously as time goes on, uh, this kinds of uh, attire has evolved and later on you will see the evolution of uh, the dress code or attire as the weather changes also, especially for countries which you have four seasons, right? But in, in the case of Asia, where we only have at least, you know, the wet and dry season, typically our dress code here would be either um, summer months, summer attire shorts with color of course and paired with that would be a sleeve to protect oneself from uh, the sun and a cap right so that's typically what is the uh, dress code that we observe uh, in this part of the world now after the 1920s all the way to 50s golf has really um, become more and more popular especially in the US from Europe uh, mainly because of the US Open, um, which pretty much drawn a lot of uh, marketing and promotional activities. And therefore, you can see people in the 50s started to notice the trend or golfing attire uh, by the professionals at that time. Mainly because of uh, wider TV coverage, media like newspapers and print. So as you can see, 60s continue on with the trend as well, the 70s uh, in keeping with the times as well as the 80s. So pretty much it evolved into the 90s with uh, Tiger Wood uh, starting a new apparel with Nike. And because of uh, his success as the number one player at that time, 
other companies, uh, apparel companies, soon followed up and started to compete against uh, the big swoosh. So sponsors, labels uh, started to sign up major big players that have the uh, charisma and of course the looks in order for them to carry their brand. So go ahead and make a comment down below. Who do you think is the uh, best dressed golfer of your choice at this point in time? So. All right, so we covered the reasons why uh, dress codes have been installed or instilled and of course uh, the trend that has evolved soon after that now let's talk about a bit of the future and what it looks like so this is not by any means a prediction of what the future dress code looks like but at least you can see here the colorful trend that has evolved um, of course another one would be People started to uh, have reasons to wear colorful dress uh, with the intention so that uh, they could be seen while inside the greens of uh, the golf course. So you can see here players that I have played with over the past several years uh, putting in some dress codes during competition or tournaments in order to sort of put a uh, trending of uh, tournament month so as you can see there's a lot of uh, uh, colors uh, during tournaments so please leave a comment down below what you think would be the colors of the future when it comes to this game all right so that's it this is mark buado and you're watching pinoy golfers adventure see you again next time bye